Hello everybody and Merry Christmas. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen Hoffman. I'm a mom who loves thrifting, homemaking, and intentional living. I want to give a warm welcome to all of my new subscribers and those who have found me in the last few weeks. My friends, Hillary over at Old World Home and Miranda over at Miranda Christine. They have both blessed me immensely by reaching out and doing collabs with me. I've had so much fun doing things this way. I'm just gonna keep shouting out these ladies just because I don't care if we're still collabing. I'm still going to lift y'all up. <laughs> I love that it just creates a sense of community. And honestly, I love collabs because it opens me up to new people that I may have never found on my own. This week, I wanted to introduce you guys to Andy Jenkins from All Put Together. I'm going to show a few examples of her page right here. Andy is an excellent thrifter. She focuses a lot on like mid-century style pieces, as well as some really awesome some clothing pieces. If you guys like how my page is both clothing style and home style, you will like her page as well. She is a new YouTuber just like I am, but I would love to help her just like these other ladies have helped me in the past. Go check out her page after you're done with my video. But I actually had to reach out to her to change the plan for today. Y'all, I had a Christmas miracle happened yesterday. My plan for today was actually to film a decorate with me video for my home. As you can see, I have like a couple Christmas decorations up, but we don't have the tree up yet. We've still got like these boxes over here and some laundry, but they're filled with decorations that still need to go up. But I was interrupted by this Christmas miracle. I went to the Goodwill outlet, y'all know the bins, to see if I could find anything that I could possibly put in my decorate with me video and y'all. I scored. Let me take you on my thrift trip. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. I just got here to Goodwill Outlet. I'm looking for some Christmas stuff today. I'm still looking to make a little bit more Christmas content and to fill out our Christmas decorations a little bit more. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. We're gonna see what we can find. I just have Ivy. So I figured I would just hop in here real quick, see what there is, and I'll let you know what I find. All right, so the first thing I found when I went in were these nasty Uggs. They were beyond repair and I was not going to pick them up. But over here I found some Birkenstocks which were actually in great shape. All they had was a little bit of paint on them which I easily got off with some acetone. There was these Ugg slippers that are like my dream slippers. I never found the other one and I was looking for the partner for this little Minnetonka shoe. Another pair of kind of nasty Uggs. No bueno. I totally thought that these were Doc Martens when I first picked them up, but as I looked at the tags on the back, I saw that they're actually knockoff Doc Martens. So I thought maybe if they were, I could clean them up, but nah. I found these Ugg leather driving shoes. I thought they were pretty cute. And then I found these little Minnetonkas, which were in pretty good shape. These Uggs were a little bit salty like they always are in Omaha, but I was actually able to clean these up really easily. These were like my dream boots. I wish that they were in my size, but I absolutely loved them. And some corning wear and this little tractor. My dad and my grandpa always collected tractors like this, so I thought it was kind of interesting, but I didn't pick it up because it was kind of heavy. I thought this basket was really beautiful. You guys know how much I love green. I thought these were kind of cool. I don't know, I wasn't crazy about the orange. They were a little bit ornate for my taste, plus they were really heavy. I thought this bowl was really pretty. Um, I actually had it in my cart for a while, but then I just realized that I didn't know what I would do with it. Same with this little coaster thing. I mean, they're both beautiful and they're both my taste, but I just have no place for them in my home. Oh, 
this bag was beautiful. I really loved how it was made. It was just like slightly not my style. And so I felt weird about taking it home. Again, at this time, I was still going off of weight and I was just trying to get rid of anything that I wasn't 100% sure about. Oh, this bear was precious but it's not really quite my style i almost picked this up but i truly didn't really know what it was and how or how to use it <laughs> This was such a score. It was a ton of vintage Dr. Seuss books. But again, I didn't pick them up because they were really heavy altogether and I was trying to keep my weight down. Um, okay. So, I don't even know how to describe what just happened. <laughs> when I got up to the register, I was kind of going through my stuff. I usually try to weed through at the very end to see like, okay, what do I really want? What do I not really want? And then there was a few items that I was like, you know what? Like, these could probably sell really well if I try to put them on Marketplace or I don't know, I'm thinking about possibly starting like a Poshmark or something like that. So I got up to the cash register and I had that beautiful green basket in there. One of the ladies up at the front was like, should we charge this per item or should we charge her per pound? And the other lady was like, no, we should charge her per pound. So I was a little bit bummed because I was like, dang, this basket's kind of heavy. There's like stuff inside of it and everything. So I put my cart up there and I saw that my cart was 30 something pounds. And I was like, man, at $1.25 a pound, this is still gonna be like $40. And I know that I can sell a lot of this and I'll definitely make that $40 back, but it just stings. Like I'm so used to going to the thrift store and spending like 12 to max $20. So I was like, man, this is gonna be a $40 trip. But guess what? <laughs> Y'all, I'm not kidding you. I thought about it on the way back. I was like, this is a Christmas miracle over here. They charged me $3.99 for the entire cart. My cart was packed to the max and they charged me less than $4 for it. I don't know what happened. There was three ladies, including the manager, all there who were ringing me out. The woman said $4 and I was just like, is anybody going to say anything? <laughs> they all just sat there and stared at me and waited for me to put my credit card in the machine. <laughs> so I did. I don't like, I don't know what to say. She literally said $3.99 in front of both ladies. And they all were like, <laughs> so I just got that entire cart full of tons of stuff. I mean, there was Birkenstocks, Uggs, all kinds of awesome like leather goods, those cool hooks. I mean, maybe I shouldn't give it away, but still, I don't even know. Anyway, I'm gonna have to show you guys what I got when I get home and my mind's literally blown right now. Christmas miracle. Dang straight. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. I had gone in just looking for a couple odds and ends and what I found blew my mind. I would say that the majority of my cart was filled with shoes. <laughs> well, shoes and hangers. <laughs> I actually found a lot of shoes that were in really good condition that I could possibly sell on Facebook Marketplace. What I usually do is that when I go into the bins, half of the stuff I look for is for myself and the other half I try to do to sell on Marketplace so that I can pay for everything. I try to be a good steward of my money and I will get more into that someday, but I really try to always stay on the positive and never go into the negative. I wanna finding all these shoes. And I looked at the weight of my cart and my cart was packed. And I, I really try not to do that just because I'm not trying to just bring in more things into my house just to bring in more things. However, there were so many shoes that I was able to resell or I was able to use for our girls that I was like, you know what? I know that this is gonna be worth it. I'm gonna make pretty good money on this haul. The total was $3.99, $3.99. It was like 4.20 something with tax. 
I don't know what happened. There was three ladies there. One of them was the manager. I'm very familiar with her. And they all just sat there and stared at me and waited until I paid. <laughs> so I don't have prices for anything, but I mean, I don't, I'm gonna let you guys do the math on what it was per item. It's probably like 15 cents per item that I have. So let's get started. This sweater was one of my thrift finds. So this is what I was talking about. I love these like kind of like baggy billowy sleeves. I'm pretty sure this is actually a men's sweater, but I did like tuck it into my bra. I wore it with my pajama pants that you guys have seen me wear a hundred times because that's all I wear. It's got green and burgundy and blue on it. And so I thought it was really cute for Christmas time. It's just, it's a hundred percent cotton. It's this brand. Oh, I looked at it earlier. What does this say? I can't even read it. Town something. I can't see it from here and I can't see it on, on the viewfinder. It's adorable. I love it. I'm so excited to wear this during the Christmas season. Also, I would like to share something that I myself did not get, but our sweet and generous neighbor went out and thrifted it for us. Y'all are gonna see why she was so excited to give it to me. Okay, it's a little awkward for me to grab it over here. Hoffman Beverages. And if y'all didn't notice, look down, our last name is Hoffman. So this was absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute for like Christmas decorations. I'm not sure what we're gonna put in here. If we're gonna put like a little tree or maybe some boots. Oh my gosh, boots would be so cute. I could put some of our little hunter boots in here. I just could not believe that she found this for us. It was so sweet. When she brought it over, I was like, could there have been a better gift on the face of the planet? Like Merry Christmas, y'all. Okay, so moving on to more Christmas items in our haul, I found this sweet little, I don't know, what do you call this, a doily? Um, I, it looks like it's hand knit, you know? It doesn't look like a manufactured one, um, but it's just beautiful. I figured I would put it like underneath one of our like little mini Christmas trees and have it be kind of like a little mini skirt. You guys, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do about this tree skirt. I have like, so many of y'all are saying that I should use the skirt instead of the collar, and, but I'm like, oh, I just convinced my husband that it was worth it to spend $40 on a collar, so. I don't know. <laughs> Next, I have this pretty little red book. It's an American International Encyclopedia. Let's see if I can, you can see how it's like a, a picture of this man's face. I wonder who this is. Is it gonna tell me? Oh, look how cute. The whole thing is just beautiful. Look at that, gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Look at these beautiful drawings in here. Anyway, I was excited to find it. I'm probably just gonna use it in my Christmas decorating because y'all know how I feel about red. Not crazy about it, but maybe I'll use it to go under something, to lift something up. I don't know. We'll see how I use this bad boy. I actually found these beautiful wool mittens and look at them. Look at that little stitching on the top and then this beautiful side. So I would actually, I don't know if I would wear these so much as I would like to decorate with them. So I was thinking about possibly, I don't know, putting like a string on them to attach them and maybe hanging them kind of like how people hang Gates. Is that a good idea? Well, should I hang one this way and one that way? I don't know. I was thinking about maybe like putting them even like right here or something on our gallery wall. I'm going to try to figure out a cute way to display these because I feel like they are, they would be great to wear, but they'd be even more great to display. All right. I found this cute little turtleneck. Let's fold the sucker down. This is from Kick It. I don't know. Do you guys recognize this brand? It's just a nice like cream turtleneck. So it's very mom chic right now, which is that's what I'm going for. <laughs> Mom chic or like dad chic is what I'm going for. <laughs> okay, I tried on this little turtleneck for you guys. Here it is. I think it's kind of cute, right? I found this beautiful velvet pillow. I don't know if this is necessarily Christmas. I just thought it was so pretty. And look at this nice, pretty green velvet on this side. Maybe I'll use this in the springtime instead of it for Christmas, but I was just in love with it. It's so soft, so pretty. I love a good embroidered pattern. Okay, and with my new little tree, which has been lovingly nicknamed the cat tree since it's about a cat's weight. <laughs> it also has a cat hanging on it that my daughter Ruby put on there. But I found this cute little Lana Burger basket. It's cute. It says 1997 on the bottom. And I'm using this right now to hold this little Christmas tree, but I'm actually thinking about just using it in my car kind of like as a little trash basket. It would work really well in there, I, th I think. Next, let me see if I can show this to you guys um, so you can see it well but I actually picked up this cute little firewood. Is this brass? I mean, I'm assuming it's brass, but I'm not 100% sure. It's got these really pretty little feet on it that you can see. I just thought it was gorgeous. I wish that we had a fireplace. I was thinking about 
putting this out possibly by our chiminea, but I'm a little bit nervous about what the weather could do to it outside. If you guys know, let me know because there's just stuff like this that I'm just not, I don't, I just don't know. I'm just still kind of a kid, you know? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Am I able to put this outside with like some firewood in it for our chiminea or should I try to keep it inside and style it somehow or should I just sell it on Facebook Marketplace? Let me know in the comments. Okay, and this is the basket I was telling you guys about. I actually got this to use year round, not just for Christmas, for Rosie's tea set collection that she has. We collected a bunch of teacups and stuff for a birthday party and she just loves having friends over and doing tea parties. Here's this top and it is a little bit heavy since a lot of this is wood and inside it has these stackers. I loved this. This was gonna be my splurge item. But as you guys know, I didn't wind up splurging on anything. This was probably my favorite purchase of the day that I got. Okay, so everybody knows that you have really made it when you have wooden hangers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this has been kind of like a splurge item of mine that I have been thinking about for years. I was actually in the middle of purchasing some of these off of Facebook Marketplace. I had found somebody who was selling 16 of these for $10. And I was like, you know what? Our coats are bending all of our plastic hangers. Like, let's get real fancy. I can't buy these new, but I can try to buy them on Marketplace. And I'm not even kidding you. I went in to the bins yesterday and I was like, Lord, if you could provide some wooden hangers, I would be so grateful. And y'all, God provides. He hears my prayers. And I know all of y'all who don't know Jesus are like this girl, whatever, but I'm not kidding you. It, this is my real life and this happens all the time. Like he loves me. He takes care of me. He takes care of my family. He honors what I'm doing. I love it. I honor him. I'm so excited about this. So I went in and I found, I can't even tell you. I don't even know how many there are. I think I showed it in the video. It's at least, it's a, it's about a cat's weight. <laughs> it's a lot. There's this whole entire thing that's full of them. And that was part of what was filling up my cart so much too. And I cannot wait to completely switch out our coat closet with all of these super nice hangers. Okay, so next I'm gonna do an item that I bought for resale. I'll give you guys a little close up but I thought that these racks were just very beautiful. I will say that they're not like, they're just not quite my style, but they're so nice. I said they're from Hobby Lobby and they were originally $40. There's like a clearance sticker here, but the other one said that they were down to $25. The other one has a little bit of, there's a bent part on one of these, but somebody bought these for $25 a piece. And so I am gonna try to sell these on Marketplace, possibly for like $15 a piece and see if I can make 30 bucks on something that I just saw sitting in the bins, you know? And next are some shoes. You guys prepare yourselves. First things first, I found a Rosie, some cute little cowgirl boots. Our girls are always asking for cowgirl boots and these are real leather, cute, authentic little cowgirl boots. I was obsessed. Speaking of cowgirl boots, I have showed you guys that I got some a couple months ago. They were beautiful, they were real leather, they were my size. I didn't put them on in the Goodwill outlet. When I put them on at home, I realized that the lining on the inside was a little bit messed up and it was somewhat uncomfortable when I actually put them on. So I'm bummed about those. I'm probably gonna wind up just having to give them away, but I did find these to replace them. These are not real leather, but they are really nice. I'm just gonna use these in the meantime and if I can find a pair of really cute leather ones, then I will wind up selling these bad boys and switching them out again. So I've been on the hunt for a pair of shoes exactly like this for probably two years. And I'm so sad because I finally found these and they are about half a size too small. So these are leather. They are by a brand called Chelsea and Violet and they're absolutely gorgeous, beautiful leather. And I'm just gonna try to sell them on Marketplace because I'm just so depressed by it. I actually found a pair that are pretty similar to these but that are this beautiful taupe color. And again, they were slightly too small. These are by Nine West Vintage America Collection. You guys, I feel so bad when I see beautiful stuff like this, beautiful leather pieces that are getting ready to go to the landfill. I saved these guys out of it and I'm gonna try to sell these on Facebook Marketplace. I also found a couple of pairs of Uggs. 
these in here. Um, these have a little bit of salt on them. Winter in Nebraska, there's definitely salt everywhere and everybody's boots have salt on them and it's easy to clean up. So I'm just gonna clean these up and also put these on Marketplace. I'm not sure. What do you guys think I should sell these for? Like $30 or so? I don't know, they're very nice. I found a similar pair of little Minnetonka ones. These are not Uggs, but Minnetonka is a great brand too. I'm probably actually just gonna wind up keeping these for Rosie instead of trying to sell them just because they're in great condition and I wear mine all the time and Ruby wears hers all the time. So, but they're a size two, which is too big for Rosie right now, but she should grow into them in the next couple of years. These are also Minnetonka. I just found some like cute little moccasins. They're real moccasins though. They don't have the, the soles on them, but these would just be like house shoes for somebody. And they actually fit me perfectly. So I think I might actually keep them for myself for a while. Okay, so speaking about Uggs, I found these black leather driving shoes. These are size eight and I'm size nine. So I'm actually just gonna clean these up and I'm gonna put them on Marketplace. I found a pair of men's Birkenstocks. There's these kind of like weird marks on them like that. I haven't tried to clean them up at all. So we'll see how they do. I actually gave them to Josh to see if he wanted them and they do fit him. And so he said to try to clean them up, put them on Marketplace. And if they don't sell, then he'll keep them as his. And lastly, I got this little pair of cognac boots. I think these are Old Navy. Uh, Rosie has the same pair right now and they're kind of like her default shoes that she's wearing for this winter. So again, these are a size two, so they're gonna be too big for her for this upcoming season, but maybe next year or the year after she should be able to fit into them just fine. All right, everybody. Well, can you believe it? All of that was $3.99. Y'all, my mind was blown. I seriously got into my car and I was like, thank you, Lord. Like that was so unexpected and so generous. Hopefully I should be able to make I don't know, maybe like a hundred dollars or more off of this lot. And I got, I bought it for absolutely nothing. I cannot wait to bring you on a Christmas decorate with me. You guys, I'm sorry, this is getting delayed so much. I just keep finding all this awesome stuff and I wanna share with you where these pieces are coming from and how I was able to get them for so cheap. Make sure you check out Andy over at All Put Together. You guys are really gonna enjoy her stuff. She's got some cool stuff. It's a little bit different than mine. It's a little bit more mid-century than mine is. But you know my style, it's always trapped between like mid-century century modern and like early American colonial. I don't ever know what I'm doing over here, guys. Thank you so much for putting up with me. <laughs> if you guys have not yet, please consider subscribing and leave me a comment. Y'all, I have just been, I've been typing away. I love seeing you guys' suggestions. I love when you guys help me with my terminology. It's just so helpful and I love interacting with y'all. So thank you so much for being here and being part of my channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.